Alrighty, so today what we are going to do is we are going to test out the Metabo brushless 12 volt drill. So when it comes to Metabo, I have no clue. This is my first time even holding a Metabo. So this is not mine. My friend Robert Bates bought this and has led me to use it for the, uh, this video. And yeah, this thing is, uh, this thing is awesome. But, uh, but we're going to go over the specs, we're going to test this out, and we are going to see what this could actually do. So this is Metabo uh, Power Max. Uh, the model number, I guess, is BS12BLQ. Uh, brushless motor, uh, Ultra M technology. Now these batteries uh, that come with this kit, it comes with a, uh, an air-cooled charger, uh, which the charger uh, model number is ASC55. Uh, CAS, I do not know what that means. It says C -A C -A -S on there. Uh, and so, yes, this is a 85 watt max, 150 volts, 60 hertz. That's standard. It's probably not a fast charger, but it is air cooled. Now, this kit comes with uh, two 4 amp hour batteries. And uh, the this does have rubber molding on the bottom, which is good. Because, uh, I love rubber moldings on batteries because if you're on a finished surface and construction, you do not want anything risking the surface to get scratched in any way. So I recommend you get a brand that has rubber molding on the bottom. And so, yes, uh, there's a push button on the front to tell you what the battery life is. And the model number for the battery. I do not know. There's a lot of numbers on here. I do not know what the model number of the battery is. M Ultra Technology. That this is. I I have no clue. But when it comes to this, uh, I have no clue. Now, is it like Hilti? Is it like Hilti? Are the specs on the bottom? Yes. Just like Hilti, the specs are on the bottom where you put the battery. And so this is uh, two speed settings. Speed one goes to zero to five hundred RPMs, and on speed two, zero to sixteen hundred and fifty RPMs. It does not say torque. I'll do the research and I'll put the torque in right now. But we are going to test this out and see what this could actually do. Uh, it is a metal truck with a plastic housing on it. Let's do I have a bit really quick. Any bit does not matter. We'll use Hilti. There you go. It has a nice loud ratcheting uh, truck. And so yeah, this thing is this thing feels good in your hand. Like the rubber mold, the rub, rubber molding is seriously like it, it it's it's stiff with with grip, and that's actually really really good. And that motor is quiet. So uh, I am not gonna both BS you guys. I have I know nothing of this tool, and so we are going to just test this out and see what this can do. Make sure when you uh, work, you wear gloves and safety glasses. Safety glasses right here. I have got all new uh, self-driving spade bits. I got a brand new uh, quarter, uh, three quarter inch DeWalt uh, drill bit. And I got all new blades. So like I said in a previous video, I am uh, keeping my drill bits maintained. So I don't continue to have uh, failed tests. So, like, and, and you guys know, when it comes to 12 volt stuff, we do not use big, uh, big bits at all because the 12 volt is just a little too much stress. So, so we are going to try out the three quarter inch, the three sixteenths, and the one inch on this, and let's see how it does. Nothing too drastic in this episode. Let's just see how it how it does. All right, so speed two. Ready? Go. All right, this might require speed one. Yeah, it requires speed one. Speed two is a little too much for that. All right, so let's do speed one. All right, so ready, go. All right, that's not, we'll go a little bit more in. All right, so ready, Go. Time. Let's just do the one inch. Let's see how this does. Let's see how this does. Oh, speed one, it's on drill. 
All right, so ready? Go. Very good. It did it. Let's do that one more time. So ready? Go. All right, I do not know what size this is. I threw the box away a long time ago, like probably 10, eight years ago. It does fit in a, it does fit. This is a three, uh, three, a three eighths inch chuck. This is not a half inch. All right, so ready, go. Let's see if we can do it on speed two. All right, so ready, go. Yeah, I think it can. Go. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. I mean, it 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 really can. Let's try a little bit slower with barely any pressure. Yeah, it can, but you need to put a li very little pressure on it. The situation where you have to let the tool do the work. Let's see what happens with some spacks and some timber locks. Alrighty, so love that rasping truck. All right, so we're gonna try out some uh, specs and some timberlocks and see what this could uh, see what kind of power this is able to drive these with. I'm hoping we're gonna start off with speed one and see if it's able to do that. First, we're gonna try the timberlocks because the timberlocks are thinner. All right, so ready. Go. You can do it. You can do it. All right. Time. Not bad. Not bad at all. I need one for the... There we go. Perfect. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. I love this, uh, this big kit. It was $96, but I love it. All right, so let's switch this out. Held on by a magnet. Right here is good. All right, so we're gonna do speed one, see what this can do. Of oh, the battery is at uh, full bar still. All right, so ready, go. Not bad, not bad at all. All right, let's uh, let's do another specs on speed two. Let's see if it's capable uh, capable of doing it on speed two. I'm curious. I'm wondering if it's if it's going to cut out. All right, so ready, go. Uh, ooh, oh, I was hoping it did it. Uh, it cut out though, but it still did it. All right, so let's go to the 5 sixteenths and do one more timber lock on speed two. Ooh. Ready, go. Oh, okay, cut out once. Nope, it requires, uh, timber locks require speed one. Time. Now that has some torque. That has some torque for a 12 volt. If it's making my wrist do that, this has some torque. All right, so let's on speed two, see if we could take it one out. Go. Nope. No speed two on this one, maybe. Nope. All right, so speed one is required to take it out, which that, that's not a big deal. It's a 12 volt. You know, give it, give it a little slack. All right, so ready, go.
time. Not bad. Not bad. All right, let's do the other one. Let's go. It requires. It requires speed one. Ready? Go. I feel. I feel like the clamshell. Like sort of came not apart, but I can feel that the the torque that this has. I think the clamshell should have been made a little bit tougher, a little bit tougher. I, I, it just feels like the clamshell is bending a little bit against its seam. And I, also, for 12 volt tools, you normally don't do this, but we put these tools through the uh, the stress and see what they're capable of doing. All right, so we're gonna try speed two, and once again, the fresh battery has four bars, and the other battery still has four bars. All right, so ready, go. Ooh. It has power. This this thing does have power. Ready, go. All right, yeah. So this thing, this thing is powerful. This is for a 12 volt tool. This thing is powerful. If this is making my wrist twist like that, it has power. This thing is awesome. I got to learn more about Metabo. Uh, I got to learn uh, their origins on how they how they came, just like all the other tools. But uh, but yeah, it comes with a metal belt clip and it is put on with an Allen key. That's interesting. And the way you take the battery out, there's a button on the back. Which it, it, I'll get. I'll say this: when it comes to taking this, uh, taking the battery off, it's complicated because you need you have to use two hands uh, to do so in, in an awkward way. So you need to press this button and then hold it like this or something, and then slide it like that instead of like a, instead of a one thing. Because you, good luck taking it out with uh, actually just taking it out with one hand. It's, it's complicated how to take that out. But this thing's awesome though. This thing is extremely powerful. I, uh, I'll put with the price in what this is right now, how much this kit costs. It, can't, it comes with a nice hard case. So I, I, uh, I, think, I thank you Robert for letting me borrow this to make, uh, film a couple of videos with this. And this thing is seriously awesome. It is powerful, extremely powerful for a 12 volt system. And we are gonna do versus videos on C and how well this performs against Milwaukee, DeWalt, Hilti, Tack Life. Ryobi does not make a 12 volt system, a good 12 volt system in America. They need to. And of course against Makita as well. That's pretty much it. Please subscribe and uh, hit the bell button to be notified of future videos. Uh, this is Dave Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in and I'll see you guys next time.